In the previous video, we talked about the graph of a line. Now let us finish this section by talking about the parabola, the ellipse, the hyperbola and the circle. First up is the parabola. Just like there are four types of lines, there are four types of parabolas. And it is very simple. If you have never heard of a parabola, imagine a bowl. How does it look like? Right? So these kinds of graphs are parabolas. So we have four types of parabolas. This is the upward parabola, then we have the downward parabola, the rightward parabola and the leftward parabola and each of them follow a particular equation. I will just write them here, y equal to x square is the equation of upward parabola. Then if I put a minus here, we get a downward parabola. If the power of y is 2 and that of x is 1. We have the rightward parabola and with a minus sign we have the leftward parabola. So just remember these equations for now. With practice you will be able to feel what kind of parabola we are going to draw. Up next is circle. Now in a circle the power of x and y both are 2 and their coefficients are equal. So we have something like x square plus y square equal to r square. You can see that x and y both have the power 2 and their coefficients are equal. Then we get a graph like this and we call it a circle with a radius r. The next kind of graph is that of an ellipse and here we have a flattened circle. If you flatten it from the top you will get something like this. And if you flatten it from the sides, you will get something like this. For an ellipse, we have the same equation as the circle. The only difference is that the coefficient of x and y can be different. I have written here a and b. And finally, we move on to the hyperbola. And mostly in physics, we will encounter the rectangular hyperbola. It's just a name for a special kind of hyperbola. And the equation for that is xy equal to some constant. And let me draw the graph for this kind of hyperbola. You will get something like this diagram. So these are the most important types of graphs that will often come in physics. Mostly we will be encountering lines and parabolas and occasionally the hyperbola and the ellipse and circle. Please remember these equations and what kind of graphs they um, represent and I will see you in the next video where we will talk about differentiation. See you.